Today's discussion will focus on the learning competency, enumerate the lines of evidence that support plate movement. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Explain the seafloor spreading theory and number 2. Describe magnetic reversion as evidence of the seafloor spreading. Previously, you learned about continental drift theory which suggests that around 200 million years ago, a supercontinent called Pangaea broke down into smaller supercontinents named Laurasia and Gondwanaland. These supercontinents broke into continents that we have in the present time. This theory was supported by the following evidences. First, the continental jigsaw puzzle, evidence from fossils, evidence from rocks, the glacial striation, and the coal deposits. Despite the evidences presented by Wegener, his idea that the continents were once joined together was not accepted by the scientific society because he wasn't able to explain how this drifting took place. This made scientists conduct further studies in search for the answer. During the 1950s and 1960s, new techniques and modern gadgets enabled scientists to make better observations and gather new information about the ocean floor. They have discovered underwater features deep within the ocean. Scientists found a system of ridges or mountains in the seafloor similar to those found in the continents. These are called mid-ocean ridges. One of these is the famous Mid-Atlantic Ridge, an undersea mountain chain in the Atlantic Ocean. In the early 1960s, scientist Harry Hess, together with Robert Jets, suggested an explanation to the continental drift. This is the seafloor spreading theory. According to this theory, hot less dense material from below the Earth's crust rises towards the surface at the mid-ocean ridge. This material flows sideways carrying the seafloor away from the ridge and creates a crack in the crust. The magma flows out of the crack, cools down, and becomes the new seafloor. Over time, the new oceanic crust pushed the old oceanic crust far from the ridge. The process of seafloor spreading allowed the creation of new bodies of water. For example, the Red Sea was created as the African plate and the Arabian plate moved away from each other. Seafloor spreading is also pulling the continents of Australia, South America, and Antarctica away from each other in the East Pacific Rise. The East Pacific Rise is one of the most active sites of seafloor spreading with more than 14 centimeters every year. In the place where two oceanic plates collide, or where an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide, a subduction zone occurs. The rate of formation of a new seafloor is not always as fast as the destruction of the old seafloor at the subduction zone. This explains why the Pacific Ocean is getting smaller and why the Atlantic Ocean is getting wider. What is the reason behind this? If the subduction is faster than seafloor spreading, the ocean shrinks. When the seafloor spreading is greater than the subduction, then the ocean gets wider. And here are the findings that support seafloor spreading theory. 1. Rocks are younger at the mid-ocean ridge. Second, rocks far from the mid-ocean ridge are older. Third, Sediments are thinner at the ridge. And number four, rocks at the ocean floor are younger than those at the continents. The seafloor spreading theory was strengthened with the discovery of the magnetic reversal patterns in rocks. A magnetic compass tells us the directions on Earth. 
It also proves that the Earth has a magnetic field. The needle of a magnetic compass usually points to the North Pole of the Earth, which is actually the South Magnetic Pole at present. Now, what is magnetic reversal? How does magnetic reversal happen and how does it prove seafloor spreading? The Earth's magnetic field is generated in the very hot molten outer core and has already existed since the birth of our planet. The Earth's magnetic field is a dipole, one that has a north pole and a south pole. Magnetic reversal is also called magnetic flip of the Earth. It happens when the North Pole is transformed into a South Pole and the South Pole becomes the North Pole. This is due to the change in the direction of flow in the outer core. The occurrence of magnetic reversals can be explained through the magnetic patterns in magnetic rocks, especially those found in the ocean floor. When lava solidifies, iron-bearing minerals crystallize. As these crystallize, the minerals behave like tiny compasses and align with the Earth's magnetic field. So when the magnetic reversal occurs, there is also a change in the polarity of the rocks. This allowed scientists to visualize the magnetic stripes in the ocean floor and to construct a magnetic polarity time scale. Over the last 10 million years, there has been an average of 4 to 5 reversals per million years. New rocks are added to the ocean floor at the ridge which approximately equal amounts on both sides of the oceanic ridge. The stripes on both sides are of equal size and polarity, which seem to be mirror images across the ocean ridge. What does this indicate? It indicates that indeed, the seafloor is spreading. And that ends our lesson. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.